used to the uh, the avatars in those situations, but not necessarily in WoW. So just to kind of explain that reasoning, um, in the next few weeks I should be returning to normal. But uh, but that was like the biggest like uh, people saying saying the static awkward VTuber avatar made me click away away from the video, and and I've noticed it in the analytics too. Um, and I've tried to explain that, but I know that not everybody knows that situation. So that's just kind of like the natural course of action, you know, that's just, I do want to make content still, but that's just kind of the way that things are. So, um, second, uh, a lot of people, uh, had been commenting on my, uh, I, I won't mention it further, but basically my spoiler that I mentioned in my first impression video, um, I want to say my intent was when mentioning the spoiler just because it was in the the very beginning you know if, if you're gonna imagine what that could be then uh you probably already know but my intent with that was to say that i personally don't care about the spoilers but i understand that me saying it comes off as like me not caring that other people might care uh so i so my intent was to directly just be like hey you know, i was wrong like i messed up that that that's uh my intent is not to make people feel like I don't care that they care about spoilers and, and, and whatnot. Um, also, you know, I, I felt like because it was in the very beginning that it wasn't that big of a spoiler just because it happened so early uh, in the expansion. But I understand that people may have different opinions on that about how they feel in regards to those things. So um, my intent is not to dismiss those things uh, and, and make people feel like those things are... Um, not important. I would say the reception overall of the video was um, was well received. I, I think a lot of people understood where I was coming from, uh, but there was a group of people that definitely, especially in like the Reddit comments, that I felt like um, had that in general opinion. Um, lastly, you know, the, there was there was a side of things where people go, you know, like, hey, you you don't play the game, so or barely play the game, then why should we? listen to you. Um, my intention is never to make people feel like they have to listen to me or that, uh, my experience in the game is, uh, more than theirs. Um, I think I have a bit of experience. Uh, I've played since classic, uh, more like pre-patch, uh, burning crusade, like right before the expansion, uh, started and have consistently played, uh, until I would say about cataclysm. Uh, like the mists of Pandaria era, you know, like started to play a little bit less during those expansions. Um, and then definitely dropped off during Legion, uh, but came back just before BFA, uh, played BFA quite a bit uh, and jumped in as well into the Shadowlands as well as Dragonflight experience, though it definitely tapered off once again during dragon flights so my experience uh while it's been intermittent definitely later on uh you know as the expansions have gotten newer they've i've less you know been able to consider this like my main game i think wow is it that that unique experience where you could say this is my main game like i main game this and so i definitely main gamed wow up until the mists and cataclysm era and it became less you know uh, but still was my main game, but definitely during, um, during Legion, you know, I, I, I didn't play a lot of Legion, you know, so I think that my experience has definitely been less so, but I don't think that having less experience than newer expansions necessarily means that, um, my opinions are, you know, classic, good retail, bad. Uh, I think both have their values and both are important. Um, but I do think that the story has been, at least in my opinion, has been less significant. Uh, and I think this is because, you know, we're less relying on the the stories of characters that were built and people have nostalgia with. You know, I think a lot of this new expansion has relied on characters that have been created, you know, new. Like, they're, they're new characters that aren't necessarily... Warcraft characters. You know, we do have a lot of characters that still exist from those eras. You know, I mean, Thrall is not to be trifled with, but he definitely had some ups and downs, you know, in the retail experience because those are new stories. It's just like the Rings of Power from the Lord of the Rings uh, films, where 
there's going to be things that we like, there's going to be things that we dislike, but because we're creating stories that aren't necessarily straight from the books or they're told by somebody who's directed it in a different way, I think those things can, uh, can, can lack in a number of ways. So my dislike for the story is not necessarily uh, just a, a one-sided, like, like once again, classic good, read, sell, bad, but more of a um, like I can see the direction they're going with this and it's not something that I'm necessarily interested in. So I don't mean my experience to be like this, this kind of, all right, you know, listen to me, uh, cause I have more experience than you, but, and this is why I titled my, my, uh, my video, at least I think a little bit more strongly in a way it's like, basically at this point I've become a serial wow quitter where I play hoping for something that I can sort of latch to, um, but haven't really been able to find that thing. Um, I always get my character to max level. I always play the end game content to truly see, you know, I, I want to give it like a month's worth. And this is a first impressions video. So um, I tend to uh, to do more content with WoW in the near future. But but I, my, my intent is not to be like uh, that because of this you know this is my final opinion you know I, I want to i want to modify my opinion and and adjust it from there there's a lot of positives that i didn't necessarily talk about in this video because i feel like i don't have a full opinion of it quite yet i can have an opinion of where the story is right now i can have an opinion of how i feel the content is right now but not necessarily not necessarily like the full grasping like like like, like i understand every perspective so um once again, you know, definitely want to, uh, for the, for the people who watched it and went, you know, like you're saying, like, you don't give a fuck about spoilers. That means that you don't care about the people who are watching your videos. Definitely not true. You know, I, I, I do, I do. I mean, I, I am a streamer and a content creator, so I do, I do give a fuck about what, what people, you know, think ultimately, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of my nature. Uh, but, but my intent also is to be like, uh, this is where I'm coming from. Uh, and my intent was more uh, to, uh, to to tell people like, you know, the story right now hasn't, at least for a while in past expansions, uh, hasn't been in a state where it's really meaningful or impactful to the way that it used to be. Um, uh, Dragonflight felt that way for me very much. You know, I, I played through the expansion and uh, did end game content, but it just didn't really feel like afterwards at anything i was holding on to or any sort of it used to be like even if i wasn't playing the content i would love to watch the like the cinematics and the stories but it got to a point where it's like i didn't even care about that as well um it seemed like more like they were trying to fill boxes to appeal to certain groups versus like telling a story from their perspective you know like you may you may not like how a book ends you may not like a like a game of thrones uh fantasy novel but but in the end, they're telling the story in their way, so you may not be happy with it, but it's it's their story. It feels like the WoW story, at least for some time, has been trying to tell a story where you can either self-insert. And it's to the point where it feels like the story loses its essence of being a story for everyone to uh, to to take something from this for themselves and then instead make it a story where... Uh, we're trying to fill the needs of the masses. And I think that's, that's something that comes with, you know, it being a game that's trying to, trying to fill everybody's need. And I think that the biggest thing that I carry from classic to retail is that, uh, the classic was never a game that was meant to be for everybody. And I think that more now the game is trying to be something that everybody can play. So, so, I, so I uh, just wanted to address those couple of things. Uh, you know, I understand that, you know, people may have been upset. And I, I think that's like my biggest apology, you know, is, is, is my intent is never to make feel, people feel like they're what they feel is valuable is not so. So I, I, I truly, I truly do apologize for that. But my intent as well, you know, is, is, um, is only to talk about my opinions and impressions and then talk about my experience um, and in hope that, you know, there's people who, who share that opinion. I think there's a lot of people who have serially quit wow because they, they hope for that spark or that thing to kind of carry them forward so they can keep playing wow. Um, and, you know, while I 
can't show necessarily now with uh, the whole PNG uh, just while I'm recovering from surgery. Um, I've had a wow tattoo for years now and it's my, everything that I have like themed wise is, is wow. And I, a lot of my life from 16 up until maybe like 26 or maybe about 10 years time was wow. So, uh, this was a large portion of my life and it is still a large portion of my life that I, uh, that I do consider valuable. So that's, that's where I'm coming from. Um, and I definitely, uh, if you do watch the video, you know, now again, you know, I hope that intent is a little bit more clear. Um, I probably will, you know, at least until I can give my next impressions, I probably will be deleting the video. Um, uh, but it's not necessarily to, to do anything other than just to, you know, I don't want, I don't want people to feel like I'm, I'm spoiling things on purpose and so that's my intent from now on especially uh to to, to tell those things and it, it, it's it's not an excuse but definitely i've been playing games for quite some time at least now in my content creation uh hobby you know i've been playing games that i've been far behind the curve so it's it's rare for me to be playing content that i'm you know at the current level that most people are at uh so uh that being said um hope you liked the video hope this explains a few things uh and i hope to in the near future make a sort of um like two level 80 uh like a like redressing opinions and talking about those things so uh that will be coming soon so thank you uh for your time everybody i really do appreciate it and i hope to catch y'all in the next one peace